HLS Show Me How, creating a master corp communication slide library for Microsoft Teams. Hi, I'm Michael Giannotti, and I'm an HLS Healthcare and Life Sciences Technology Specialist. So the other day uh, I was talking uh, with a end user and they were involved with uh, marketing and communications. And the issue and challenge that they were facing was that they had a lot of slides that they were uh, continuously updating, adding new slide decks, etc., really around marketing and for reuse by uh, people uh, throughout the organization in the field, etc. And the issue that they were seeing was they added those slides into the files area. So here I've set up a corp communications team, and they were adding them all into here. And then what they were doing is as they updated them, they would do it on their desktops, they'd upload them here, and then they would upload them into the subsequent sites um, where they needed to have those exposed. And they were like, this is a lot of work. Is there an easier way? And my answer was, yes, of course. And it's actually pretty simple to implement. And that's creating a master library that we're going to reuse in a number of places. Now, um, we're not going to touch the original files area because you know the team's going to want to do collaboration around other things it's not necessarily the slide library what we want to do is create that in a site and we can do one of two things we could come out to sharepoint and we could create a unique site or you'll notice here is the corp communications group site that got instantiated as a part of that team we can just use this now of course, this is the library that's already there. We don't want to touch that, right? As I mentioned before. So what we're going to do is go back to site contents. And in this case, um, we're going to call this a slide library, right? So we'll say a new and it's a document library. We'll, we'll name that slide library. Go ahead and create. Once we've created this library, uh, it's there and we could add folders, etc. There's a couple of things though, that we want to do. They wanted to have approval and uh, set up here. So we're going to go into the library settings and we're going to go into versioning. And we want to turn this on. Require content approval for submitted items. Yes. And we want to have in this one major and minor versions so we can have things in flux. Who should see draft items? In this document library, we're going to say only users who can approve the items and the author of the item. That way, um, when they'll see, people will see the last published and approved version, but not other things in between. So we're going to go ahead and click OK here. And then lastly, we're going to check the permissions for this document library. And so we can see here that you know, the owners and members of this site can edit and uh, have full control, but visitors to this particular library will only have read access. And that's good because that's all we want to give. So what, now that we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead, let's get out of there. We'll go back to the library settings and we're going to add some documents. I'm just going to go quickly and upload them. So we're going to grab files. We'll grab these three here we'll click open it's uploading these particular items in the interim i'm going to copy this link and go back to my team and i want to expose it right here so my again my corp communications people don't have to go anywhere separate and you'll see how this works so we're going to add a tab we're going to add the sharepoint document library we're going to use a sharepoint link we're going to paste Click go, corp communication, yes, next. We want the slide library, next. And we'll call this tab our com slides. There we go, save. So now we've got that library, there you go. Then I can see the various documents that are here. Um, and now we can work with them in either place. So, for example, I can come in here and I say, look, I'm going to select this first one. And now that we've selected that, you know, I'll, maybe I want to go ahead and let's come on down here. And we're going to say we're going to publish it. 
it says it's working on it. I'm going to say OK. Uh, that's saying that it's now ready to get approved, but it's not been approved yet. So let's go back down here. Now look, it says approve, reject. We'll go ahead, select that. And we're going to select approved. OK. Boom. So now this particular document has been approved. It'll be available uh, to users. I see it because I'm the administrator, but um, we're, that would be for, you know, just for me. My readers would not see that. So we'll go ahead and let's just, whoops, we have to do it one at a time. So we can go ahead and do each one of these. We'll click publish. Okay, blah, blah, blah. And you get the point. The, the beauty of it, though, now is I have this single library. And again, I can come into here. Notice we have some dots. I can open them here and do some actions as well. But uh, once we've instantiated this particular library, now I can come to any other one. And I'll go ahead here. Let's say this project, uh, Mark 8 project team. Right. We can go in here again, add the link, SharePoint, library URL, go, Corp Communications, yes, slide library, yes, save, and boom. So now we're getting this in each one. So now I have one point of reference to work, but I can expose it in multiple sites that may need to consume this particular library. And we're doing it with slides here because it was corporate communication. And again, they're updating, doing lots of stuff with slides. They even had a folder structure. All that will still show. Um, but it could be for any authorized documents, right? Maybe we're doing it for projects. And so we have project documentation. So we could have a centralized library where it's read only for users unless they're owners or members, right, who can edit. And then we re expose that for all of our project teams. And it goes on and on. So this is a great way to reuse data, uh, have a single source of truth, not be having to download. You know, now as a uh, person who has editing rights, I can come in here and we'll go to our, let's go back to our CorpCom. And I'll come back to my com slides and I can come in here and I can say, hey, I need to edit this and I can do work, you know, add new uh, content, edit existing content. And it's all being done in one place and then reflected across all the teams that take advantage of this. All right. So that was it. It's pretty simple, right? Um, whether we set up a SharePoint site in unto itself with you know, maybe a series of libraries that we're going to expose in different places, a records management uh, site, as it were, right, where we could have project document libraries, where we could project documentation libraries, corporate communications, or whether we're just taking an existing site that was instantiated from Teams. The point is, you can take a single library, we can then re-expose that in multiple Teams so that the people who are doing the production and the editing have sole rights to do so in that library, but everybody else that needs to see and consume those documents and download them, they can. And as, is, as we do the editing in one spot, it's reflected in all the Microsoft Teams taking advantage of this library. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, I wanna thank you for joining me. If you have additional questions or wanna learn more about the Modern Workplace in Healthcare and Life Sciences, you can visit us at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. This has been Mike Gennady, and I want to thank you for joining me. Take care, have a great day, and as always, ciao.